Hey guys, Jim Bob here. Um, just wanted to make a little video about my bike, just because uh, why not? Bored in these COVID times, and we all need more entertainment. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd take you through it. So may as well start up at the front. <coughs> Got standard shovel head style, thirty-five mil front end with the old um, Cloverleaf 19 inch wheel, or as us in the salad industry call it, the um, cauliflower rim. And um, got a later model caliper on there and a oversized braided line. Um, so that when I stick a longer front end on, I don't have to do any changing there. Um, got this kick-ass um, big old car headlight on it, um, top mounted through the brow, and I reckon it looks really cool. Up the top, we've got a K-Tech lever, um, some risers that I made and then got chromed a while back, and then some um, stainless split drag bars which I bent up a while back and chucked them in. I will end up capping these off eventually and um, yeah I mean that's it. This was purchased second hand and um, yeah I, I ended up getting the frame at the start of the year off Steve-O um, which has this rad old fucking moulding job done to it. So I wanted to keep all that. It's just a um, standard geometry shovel head swing arm frame. So um, couldn't tell you exactly what year it is, but um, it's borrowed the engine and gearbox out of my, um, my other bike. The seats for the other one. And then I've got a, um, a CV Carby, which I got um, off Facebook Marketplace for a good deal with the tank. I think it was like 150 bucks or something. And the tank was all rusted out, so I had to um, you know, patch it all up. So I did a really good like paint, paint matching job, as you can see. Um, we got bit of foot clutch action that's all um, made here twisted side stand made here um, little hand shifter all that that whole linkage I made all that stuff um, just uh, yeah it's a good bit of fun the um hanging 10 troll just chilling out there um i don't know if it's a bdl drive but i'm pretty sure i got a bdl belt for it um and we've got a little flare saver aluminium guard there this um data cover plate thing um i got that with the bike i think it might have been a full um inner kind of primary plate type thing um and it might have been snapped and then shaped off and then i just shortened the fins a bit just to to make it look a bit more kind of um, uh, meant to be like that. Um, the standard oil tank ignition mounted there. Um, I've got a Daytona Twin Tech, put a charging kit through it. It had, um, the cases were really flogged out from the crank. Something was out of balance, so, um, 
we sent the bottom end off to LA Cycles and Cow built that and we put an Evo crank in it, some Wiseco 9.5 to 1 pistons and um, yeah, just stock heads, bit of a clean up. Um, yeah, stock kind of battery setup. This seat I had made for the other bike from Dave from Badass Trim a while back. The um, Defender bought off Steve. Um, gave the little kicky cover a bit of uh, a bit of attention. And yeah, that's about it. What else? What else can I tell you about it? Just tombstone tail light, standard. Standard swing arm set up. Yeah. I'll see if I can uh, start her up.